This is FYI on your TV brought to you by Hometown News. I'm Kathy Botham. I have got Georgia Hartung with me. I've got Abby Levac and Kaylin Moffin all the way from SFDCI. Thank you very much for joining us, ladies. You guys are amazing. You're in grade nine and making such a difference in the world already to people on the other side of our globe. So thank you very much for what you've done. I, I heard about what you did uh, in many ways. Facebook, I've seen you on uh, uh, social media. I have seen you in the newspapers and I needed to reach out and, and thank you very much for joining us here on FYI. You guys uh, organized a rally and you're helping young women over in Afghanistan too. So maybe, uh, Abby, can you talk a little bit about what you did? Um, we were having a discussion in our geography class about what was going on over in Afghanistan. And we all just felt like it was really wrong. And we wanted to, we definitely knew we wanted to do something. So within about a week, we had a protest all, or a rally all um, figured out and we made posters uh, signs, and we went to Parliament Hill, and um, wow, made a difference. Made a difference. All right, all right. Maybe Georgia, can you talk a little bit about what you you learned? Uh, what's going on in Afghanistan? Um, basically, we we learned about who who brought it up in class. Do you remember? Uh, I think it's hard to. Yeah. Yeah. So our teacher brought up what was happening in class about how the girls were. Um, they were sent out of school and they like hadn't been allowed back yet um and i guess it was just kind of upsetting to hear so yeah. at grade six they're saying that that girls uh don't need yeah. to complete more school than grade six over in yeah. afghanistan so that was a, a, a i guess they had a rule but then they changed their mind and now they're back to girls uh, yeah. can only get a grade six education yeah right 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 okay maybe uh kaylin can you talk a little bit about that uh, it, how you felt when you learned that. I mean, you guys are in grade nine. Grade six would have been three years ago. Can you imagine not having any, the last three years yeah. of school? I think it was just, it would just be devastating to be told, like, you can't go to school because you're a girl when, like, I know all of our futures kind of rely on education. So I couldn't even imagine having that taken away just because of who I am. And it really is. It's just because they're a woman, they're a girl. Mm -hmm. That's right. That's right. So, I mean, to speak about feeling devalued, you know, like, uh, yeah, I can't further my education and, uh, and make myself better as well, too. That's just to, to have that right taken away from you. So let's talk about how did you organize this event, a event in one week? Uh, maybe, Abby, you can talk about this. What did you do? Um, went to the principal. Yeah, we went to the principal and we got a permit and we created a document with everything that we wanted to do. And we had social media. We made a mission statement, I think. And we made signs, we made posters. There were lots of different people that helped, even people that didn't go to the rally helped us with signs. And uh, we made sure that there was people posting on social media and trying to get the word out there. So it wasn't just your grade nine class too. It, it, my, is that right? People uh, in the upper classes too went as well? Yeah, yeah the there were some uh, grade 12 uh, Justice Chisholm students. And I think a few other students from other classes uh, joined us as well. Yeah. Was there other schools there as well? Or was it just SFDCI? Uh, there were a couple students from other schools, but it was mostly just SFDCI. Yeah. Okay, okay. Can you, let's talk about the day itself. How long were you there? Uh, I, I, I've read that, you know, you made an impact on a lot of people walking by asking questions. We were um, there about like two hours, two hours, I should say. Hour and a half. Maybe. Okay. Okay. And people walking by were obviously asking what we, what you were doing and yeah. 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 Did anybody from inside Parliament Hill come out to talk to you? Oh, the like, sorry, the. Anybody the from inside? Yeah. Inside. Yeah. Like I'm thinking uh, of politicians oh, no, or anybody. From Parliament, I don't. They weren't outside while we were there. Okay. But, but unless they were like passing by, but there was another group there protesting for Afghanistan as well. So we were kind of joined them a little bit, and we marched around together and everything. So we think mm -hmm. that made a bigger impact, and hopefully we're heard. Yeah, they were Afghan interpreters who were trying to bring their fa families over to Canada. Um, they also they took videos of us and sent it to the girls. So some of the girls that they like knew personally over in Afghanistan who weren't being allowed to go to school were kind of seeing what we were doing for them. 
and that was also really good to like hear that they knew we were here for them and knew we were trying to do something for them. And you didn't know they were going to be there that day. No, no, no. Wow. And they didn't know you were going to be there that day. No. Well, you know what? I believe in fate and that just, uh, it was meant to be that you met them and they met you and, uh, you know, you, you, you did make a difference and they know over in Afghanistan too, they were able to make that connection. That must've been amazing in itself. Mm -hmm. yeah. It was. That's right. That's right. So what, what's going to happen now? What, what are your plans now? Any? Uh, well, this week we plan on writing letters to send to our own government and some people to send to Afghanistan and stuff like that. So we're going to get everybody in our class and hopefully other people too. So we can get like, keep getting our word out and we'll continue posting on our social medias and still trying to get other media attention. Yeah, we wanna encourage like anyone to write letters for the girls and stuff. So anybody from other schools, any like in, in, in St. Yeah. Falls as well too? Yeah. Wow, exactly. wow, that, that's amazing in itself. How do people do this? Like, let's put the word out there now. Like how do people write these letters? You want them to get to you or what would you like to do? We all just looked oh, at the well, teacher for direction, can. didn't we? <laughs> I think it would depend who they, if, like where they want to send them to. If they want to send them to the Canadian government, they can send emails and stuff like that or letters to them themselves. And if they want to send them to Afghanistan, maybe we can get them to bring them here and then we can send them out all together. Thank you. Absolutely. Absolutely. Oh, that's wonderful. This is wonderful that you guys are doing this and making a difference, you know. To, to Smith Falls, uh, to let Smith Falls know where we stand with this sort of thing, but they already know about you over in Afghanistan too. I think that connection when you were there on Parliament Hill was, it was fate, it was meant to be. Mm -hmm. It was yeah. meant to be, that's right. Did you did you make a connection with them? Like, do you still uh, have contact with anybody or? I believe another student got the, uh, I think our teacher as well might've gotten the contact info to some of them. The yeah, the interpreter. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We need that excellent. Yeah. Excellent, excellent. Now you guys made some posters up and everything too, and I, I, I did see a picture in our, one of our local newspapers of you, the three of you, in front of all the posters you made and everything too. So those are posted at uh, SFDCI right now. Yeah, they're up in our um, just behind us. Just behind us, actually. Behind us, yeah, they're in our uh, display, case. display case. Yeah, you can take it for a walk if you want. If you want to see them. <laughs> And you're in your, you're in your grade nine geography class. This is amazing. You guys are in grade nine and you're making such a wonderful impact. Oh, we're in the halls of SFDCI. Yeah. Obligation. Oh, this is wonderful. Obligation to education. Oh yeah. Excellent. Excellent. <laughs> That oh, that's, that's wonderful. Walk. Okay. <laughs> huh? We're going for a walk, are we? We're down the hall. This is, uh, I believe, if, if I remember correctly, right yeah, there's some more. You're on the right around the corner from the main office, are you? Uh, yes, we are. That's right. Okay. All right. Been in there a few times myself. So, oh, you guys are amazing. This is wonderful that you're doing this. Well, thank you for showing us all those too. So, um, but you guys have your own Instagram page, I believe. What's the name of it? Uh, SFDCI. I think it's SFDCI.stanza. All right. All right. And is there any other way anybody can get a hold of you for more information or how they can help? Just by that? That's how I got a hold of you, by your Instagram yeah. page. You could possibly, you could email our teacher at... Who is your teacher? I, I can hear her voice there. <laughs> uh, Emma Hart, do you want to come say hi? Oh, sure. Come say hi. Yes, come say hi. Hi, how are you? Good. How are you? How are you? My I'm goodness, very well, this is a wonderful, you. wonderful thing these, these ladies have done. And I know. Sure Aren't they impressive? And, and gentlemen in your class that, have, uh, that uh, participated in this. So uh, what a wonderful impact you've made. And just the, the fact that they, you know, you're, you're helping Afghanistan, but they know about you in Afghanistan. I love that connection you made on, on that Parliament was, Hill. It was really, really amazing because there were so many interpreters there too. And so they were all taking videos and taking pictures and sending it to their sisters and their daughters and like just so many people back in Afghanistan. And then they, they were like, one of them came up and was like, you girls are all, or not you girls, but they're like, you kids are all famous in Afghanistan right now. Like, you know, cause they can't really protest there safely. So it was uh, definitely like for me, the most powerful moment for sure was when the interpreters came back and were like, you know, they're 
they're actually sending this message to the girls because we never thought that like you, you would hope that they would know that people around the world support them but you know That's we never amazing. actually like planned that or that just like just happens so and, as a teacher yeah. when you're teaching your class this did you expect this was going to happen <laughs> No, no, no. <laughs> especially grade nine class. I teach a lot of grade 11 and 12 law. So um, this is my one grade nine class and they're just like, they're on it. That's for sure. They're on it. Yep. Yeah. So. And they're only in grade nine. Can you imagine been taking this away uh, three years ago when they were in grade six? I know. The it's potential amazing. of these women right here, you know? Yeah. And um, the other really amazing thing is like, you know, we hear about how kids have like lost so much from COVID and they've done it. And then like, look at this, like, look at what in, you know, we're, we've only been back at school for a little while and look at like some of like the absolute powerhouses that are coming out in grade nine. So, right. you know, you guys didn't get a grade eight graduation. You didn't get like a lot of those things. Right. So you haven't had consistent schooling in two years. And then at the same time, they are capable of so much at like 14 years old. It's, it's absolutely mind blowing. It's yeah. really, really exciting that I get to keep you for three more years too. So <laughs> I think we have adventures ahead of us. Yes, we do but, for sure. We, for sure. And, I, and I'm going to invite you back here on FYI because I, I'm sure I'm going to see these ladies again in the future. <laughs> oh, that's wonderful. Well, it's definitely a privilege to work with these students. They are, uh, they're very, very motivated and, uh, and they, um, they're really willing to go the extra mile to try and, you know, stand up for what they believe in. So it's, it's, that's right. That's right. I mean, you, 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 you talk the talk, but these ladies are walking the walk too. So absolutely. And so quickly, immediately, right? Like yeah. they're, they, they just jumped in there. It was like, you know, the week after the girls were sent home, we were going to Ottawa, which is no easy feat right now with, um, COVID and everything else and the truckers they had to get a protest a permit from Parliament Hill and all this so yeah it yeah, was yeah that in itself was a learning curve for sure for sure mm -hmm. wow well this has been amazing ladies you are amazing I'm so glad that uh, I got to be able to meet you and uh, have you here on FYI and you keep doing what you're doing you're making a world of difference and when I mean a world of difference I mean it I mean it, it oh. is a, well thank you so much for interviewing mm -hmm. all yeah, right thank you, thank so you. for having us thank you we will see you again